Okay, finally, I'm on. So today I'm going to show you um, how I use these little card sketches. So this is one that I used for a couple of cards that I did for general swaps for on stage. But I also wanted to show you kind of live how I use this um, as kind of a creative tool. So this is for my creative challenge. And this is our kind of first challenge was create something with this sketch. So if you'd like to participate, all you have to do is make a card um, or anything actually. This is meant for a card, but you could use it to inspire something else. Using this, post it on Facebook or Instagram and tag me in it. So just at Crafty Medic, either on Facebook or Instagram. And then also include um, hashtag Crafty Medic Creative Challenge. And you could win prizes. So I'll do a draw next week and hand out some awesome prizes. I'm going to clear all this stuff off. I'll give it to you later again. Um, and I'm going to start with, actually I'm going to keep this up here so that you can kind of see where we're going with that. So this sketch um, is fairly straightforward and I knew that I wanted to use um, the Gingham Gala from the new Cajuns catalog, which isn't available yet, but I was able to pre-order some of this stuff. So I was super excited about that. This is the designer series paper and it's got this like nice big gingham on one side and on the back it has kind of a smaller gingham and it's the five different colors and you get I think like six, there's a ton of paper in the pack anyways. And it's this nice six by six size which is great for card bases. So I was going to use the purple one which is Highland Heather. And all I did was I trimmed this down so that I had a five by two inch piece. So I have this five by two inch piece and see how I've got the little background there. Now in my um, swaps, I actually tore this. So if you look at the um, sketch there, you can see there's like a torn edge kind of. And I did that for my swaps. But for this one, I actually like it just straight like this. So again, I need to pick a side and I'm going to do the bigger. So I'm going to snail on two the smaller of the gingham patterns here and then I'm just gonna put that right in the side here so that's kind of that first element now the other element that we've got is we've got this little square so what I did was I took the greeting that I wanted and this is the butterfly gala stamp set and I wanted this the good things in life are better with you and I've got the coordinating punch I'm not actually going to use the punch though this these will be available separately or as a bundle so I'm just using the stamp set for this one. So I've got that greeting there and I'm going to keep everything very monochrome. And I'm going to, so I'm going to use my Highland Heather ink. And I've got a little, I believe this is two by two and a half. The size doesn't matter um, for these sketches, just kind of to get that general idea. With the swaps that I did, I just kind of adjusted the size to suit whatever the greeting that I wanted to use was. And I'm going to stamp this right kind of near the top of my little box. Perfect. All right. Now I'm going to pop this up with some dimensionals. So I've got just the edges of some dimensionals that I've got left over here. Don't want to let anything go to waste. And then This is a super simple card. You really don't need a lot of stuff for this card. It's really just paper, ink, and then a couple of embellishments I'm going to show you in a minute. So line that up and it's really easy to get your layers straight with this gingham paper because you can kind of use that as a guide. And then the embellishments I'm going to use are these awesome wooden embellishments that you can actually get for free during celebration. So you actually get two of each of these in one of these sheets. And they're actual wood, like they're, they're laser cut wood. Um, so those are just freaking adorable. And again, they coordinate with the stamp set and the punch. Um, so the way that this works is, if you're not familiar with Celebration, is when you buy $60 Canadian worth of stuff, you get an item for free. And so these wood elements are one of the items you can get for free. So that starts in January. So, or... Um, if you sign up to be a demonstrator now, it'll start in December. All right, so I've got a few little wooden, and see how I kind of have like big, small, medium in there? So I just need my glue dots, and I just had them. Where did I put them? Hello, glue dots, where did you go? 
my desk is a disaster right now. Okay, there's my glue dots. So in all of these kinds of elements, the easiest thing to do is to stick the element onto the glue dot. And then it's much easier to handle than trying to handle a sticky glue dot. I'm going to put that there. And anytime you're putting elements like this on, whether it's pearls or um, these little butterflies, anything like that, you either want to do them in a perfectly straight line or you want to make kind of make triangles. So don't have them like too perfectly lined up. Like that would be a little bit awkward, right? So you want to make kind of an uneven triangle. See how just moving it in like that makes it a little bit more visually interesting. And I like to, when things are directional like this too, I like to kind of have them all going different directions. So there's that card. Easy peasy, hey? I'll post a picture of this, but I wanted to show you as well um, a stepped up version. So this, I just brought in some of the punches, some embossing folders, and some more embellishments. So this is using that exact same sketch. You can see all the elements are there. Um, I just used a punch for my greeting instead of just the plain square. And then I stamped my butterflies and you can see the background there so they've got like the purple outline and then there's lighter that's the same ink that's just that Highland Heather and I just stamped it off so once onto my paper here and then once to give it that little bit of a subtle background and then I just used the medium butterfly there in wood and added some pearls the background this is really hard to tell with this embossing folder but this is the subtle embossing folder I don't know if you can see that Hey Dorothy, um, but yeah, this subtle embossing folder, it's a really nice, just kind of almost like a linen texture in the background, and I really like that. So those are the two different versions of that card from that same sketch. I'm going to post this video on my blog, and what I'll do is I'll post some more pictures of more cards I made using this sketch, so my swaps from on stage, those kinds of things. And don't forget to post your versions of it because, again, I'm going to be giving away free stuff. So you want to just make a super simple card using whatever supplies you have, whatever colors ink you have, whatever, whatever little bits you've got. Um, use them, make a card based on this sketch, post it um, on Facebook or Instagram at Crafty Medic, and you'll be entered to win that. If you do need more supplies, I'm going to put up my store QR code here so grab your phone and you can go to the store there scan that and then we've got the host code there so when you go to checkout enter that and you'll uh, you'll get some extra goodies from that as well and there again that's my basic card hope you learned something from that um, if not you got to see some new product and uh, I'll see you again tomorrow. I'm going to be doing a live of my new paper pumpkin kit, which I'm so excited about. It's all Christmassy. Happy stamping.